to my YouTube channel Elliot with Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. I'm excited and delighted at that at least some of you guys who are following me were able to take advantage in the price movement of gold and silver. Not only that, you were also able to take advantage of the bearish movement that happened right from the top in gold and silver both. So we'll continue our analysis in today's section. If you uh, are willing to uh, take this boring presentation, uh, believe me, you are going to learn a thing or two about Elliott Wave analyst uh, analysis, which I'm pretty sure you uh, are missing. One of the common mistakes in Elliott Wave analysis is that as soon as a correction pattern is complete, what happens? All right, I'm asking you a question. As soon as the correction is complete, what happens? Probably you're thinking that the trend will continue that actually started from the previous uh, impulse wave that would continue. That's right. But this is not the uh, in, in, uh, this does not happen in all the cases. If you want to be a Letitian or any an Elliott wave analyst, you need to understand that you need to run out of all the edge cases, the cases that are hard to think of. For example, right now we are thinking about, we were actually expecting for this to be in wave A, a wave B right over here, and then wave C. Wave C being a five wave structure, this makes it three, three, five structure. So one possibility is that the correction is complete right over here. This pattern is complete right over here and we are headed downward. This is one possibility. Second possibility is that the this correction that has happened is only part of a larger correction. In that case, we are to expect side wave movement in gold, but not from over here side wave movement. The side wave movement, if happens, is going to continue in something of a triangle form right over here. I mean in a rectangular box, not triangle. So if let's say the gold approaches right over here, this is where five wave structure completes on Monday or Tuesday. In that case, we will be at the top of the box if gold is actually going to continue in its correction. If the correction is complete, in that case, price is going to go down. If the correction is not complete and this is part of a larger correction, in that case, also gold is expected to go down. So an impulsive wave correction, uh, an impulsive wave followed by a corrective wave does not simply mean that price is actually going to skyrocket, uh, I mean shoot down or uh, fall like a rock from the sky. So we need to understand that, but in both our cases that we have, uh, we are expecting for gold to go down as soon as this 5 wave structure is complete. Now on a 15 minute chart, we can look at a 5 wave structure first of all, discuss it, what's happening on a smaller time frame and then we'll head on to our uh, two options that we have selected. So in order to find a pri potential price target, we need to see on our left. Last time the one prices went up, this is wave A, we can see that it had, this is wave 4 of our labeling. So we can see that wave A ended in the wave 4 of our labeling. In that case, there's a possibility that wave C actually can end within wave 4, uh, within wave 2 of the previous structure. This is wave 2 of the previous structure. Uh, I'm not sure whether the labeling will that labeling. Okay, let me do a quick labeling. Uh, uh, it was there. We can start the structure over there. This is wave one and two right over here, and this is wave three, and this is wave four, and this is wave five, followed by a f uh, three wave structure. So we are expecting gold to continue on and fall somewhere within wave two to create uh, to complete the mm, uh, structure that actually started here, and also that actually started from over here. So Monday and Tuesday, uh, as soon as the structure is complete, we are expecting for the price to drop down. W how would we know that actually the top has been made? In that case, we can simply use a trend line uh, that is actually encompassing uh, right over here too. We can also extend this trend line to actually make uh, a channel as well as far as a lot of uh, and, and newbies actually love making such diagrams. So if you want to do that, nothing wrong with that. Uh, the only problem is that um, a lot of time and um, people lose uh, a perspective of what is actually going on. So this is, if this diagram actually ma makes you happy then why not. Uh, so this is an A, a B and a C structure that we are looking, we are, we are aiming for upper, um, I would say somewhere around here, upper layer, uh, upper target for 5 wave structure to complete. And as soon as prices actually drops off and breaks this uh, trend line, in that case, we will be able to understand that the correction that actually started from over here is complete. And our next major move on the downside will actually start. And keep in mind that move does not have to go all the way down uh, just like wave 1 did. 
because there is a possibility that A, B, C is part of a larger wave. Now let's talk about a larger wave. What possible uh, mm, what possible conditions could exist for a larger wave? There are uh, since we have seen a three wave structure, uh, flat correction right over here. Since we are seeing a flat correction, there's a possibility that as soon as this correction is complete, we can actually make it to a double um, mm, a double three structure. In which case, wave A or wave W would be a three wave a flat correction. We are to expect a zigzag and then after that another zigzag is expected to complete the structure that would be a double three structure another possibility that exists within this uh, larger possibility that this behavior is still going on on the sideways and the second possibility is that we can actually create a new low right over here in that case this is a three wave structure another three wave structure would follow and we are to expect a five wave structure completing a larger or a second degree of expanded flat that actually would start from over here so I'll do a little a little bit of diagramming in case you have uh, missed what I was saying. So what I'm saying is a couple of possibilities exist as soon as the five structure is complete. We can actually come down right over here and we can actually form uh, a zigzag right over here and that would be our uh, X wave. And in that case we can actually follow uh, another, uh, you know, uh, this is a, an, another zigzag to complete a double three structure. This is one possibility within the possibility of the correction is still going on. The second possibility is that we can actually turn into a second degree you know, of a flat correction. In that case, we are to expect prices sharply move down, create a new low beyond the previous low right over here. And as soon as that is complete, we are to going actually uh, take some time in completing the 5 f structure, uh, something like this right over here a new high in that case would be expected in some case. So imagine, uh, now the beauty of thing, uh, I said, I told you guys there is a couple of things that you guys are going to learn uh, if you f decide to follow through the, uh, to see the whole video. The first thing is that you need to consider all the edge cases possible uh, within the labeling. So you need to understand that just because the structure is complete does not mean uh, that actually straight away we are going to go down. So we'll keep both th things in mind. Uh, and I said the larger possible, one large, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys is a lot of new people when actually see this structure, this misinterpret is as an expanding diagonal, expanding triangle. So this is I wanted to show you guys. Uh, the second thing that uh, I wanted to show you guys is a possibility that since there would be a five wave structure in total, a five wave wave one and two and wave three and a wave four and wave five, a lot of people are not anticipating it. And a lot of people are going to consider this as an expand, uh, uh, a diverging triangle, not an expanding, a diverging triangle. Because a converging triangle is, is on also where the uh, waves actually keeps uh, getting smaller and smaller. So this is the pattern. In this, we do have diverging triangles, but not, not in this case. But for now, as far as the price goes down, I, I will we'll find uh, some clues of whether we are going to see some resistance or not. As let's say the price actually drops right from the top and then we see a sharper reversal on a daily time frame that would actually indicate that there is a case of reversal going all the way up down. So we will be alert. In case the price actually follows through this very important uh, structure that we are seeing on the left side, that would be indicative of that no, the structure actually ended right over here. The correction ended right over here. In this case, we are to see uh, a stronger move downward at least of the size that we are seeing right over here okay so if you are actually um, trading Elliott wave analysis no, then uh, uh, keep these things in mind we'll now head to our uh, let's delete that so that we can actually um, focus on actual price action as a whole I'm expecting that next week is going to be bearish okay we are to see a larger price movement down drop downward in gold and similar can be true uh, said for uh, silver as well. I am expecting that as soon as the structure that actually started from over here is complete, we are to see prices going downward. Um, and once again, the case is exactly the same from the top. We have seen a five wave structure that ends over here. We are calling it a wave A, a wave B, and a C. C is expected to be a five wave structure. We can definitely draw a, triang uh, a trend line right over here. Let me actually uh, draw that. 
and as I said it, it pleases a lot of people so why not if you can please some people why not um, here is fine so we are expecting somewhere in the upper layer closer to the upper uh, line of the com uh, for the prices of silver to reach in that area and then actually prices to drop down now in this case we can see that the prices actually tilted more on the downside in that case we should not be waiting for th the prices to drop below this line that's why we have a middle line right over here when prices cross over here and then we see a correction formed and let's say it goes right over here in that case when prices falls um, through this middle line and that would be of indication that we have completed the top and then we can actually turn and take a bearish position now as soon as this target of mo uh, bullish price action the remaining price action that we have are expecting in silver is complete then actually important move that we want to trade is on the downside and once again two possibilities exist for that either we are actually saying that the, c the correction actually, actually co is complete in that case we can actually measure this right over here wave 1 and we can extend the wave 1 right from the top over here all the way down further right over here the second possibility is that this correction is not complete only is part of a larger uh, pattern that's actually actually making going to make uh, silver move on the side waves in that case we are to expect uh, once again two possibilities that we are seeing in and that we have discussed in um, in gold as well so in that case we can say that we won't see a lower a new lower uh, low and we can see something like this okay and this is a double three structure once again a new high is expected anyway okay this is one possibility and that we are to see in silver the second possibility is once again that we can actually see prices to create a new low in that case this is a three wave structure a three wave structure and then we are to expect a five wave structure uh, in the last wave so i hope that i was able to actually provide some assistance in understanding what actually happening in uh, in gold and silver i do understand that when actually prices is in in these um, uh, you know uh, diverging triangle kind of uh, patterns uh, which are s l exactly looking similar volatility is extremely high so you need to understand that volatility high volatility in gold and silver is one of the possibility that we can expect in next couple of weeks two to three weeks I would say uh, to stay on so be alert with that and make small trades and make sure that you are using money management if you did enjoy the and the analysis of uh, gold and silver using Elliott wave analysis please subscribe you can refer back to my previous analysis and all of them actually were really good uh, we have seen gold and silver drop and we were expecting that drop to happen and then we had in last week were expecting the correction to actually go on create some bullish movement and then it actually did happen all of that comes from a lot of study and a lot of, a lot of observation on gold and silver wish you good luck with your trading and stay motivated have a good one and bye bye